one of the hardest things to do in life is to empty yourself from all the premises, all the rules, the methods that you created to solve the issues that you went through in life in order to put yourself into someone's shoes. And this is what we call empathy, right? It is a skill that you have to practice. And if you didn't practice enough, you are not able to understand the process of emptying yourself and putting yourself into someone else's shoes. This is necessary because this person, this other person doesn't have the same baggage, doesn't have the same personality, doesn't have the same learning process as you do. So you have to understand how they work and what are their experience and their knowledge baggage to teach them how to use their resources to achieve the same level of knowledge as you do this is what we call teaching right the teacher has to empty himself or herself in order to put themselves into the student's shoes understanding that the students are not as capable or doesn't have the same experience and knowledge baggage and emotional baggage even to go through the same processes as the teacher went through or the master went through and this is one of the reasons why i never made beginners content after i went out of the beginning stage from game development because i don't remember how did i went through this process i i don't understand how can i put myself out of the place that I'm currently in and put myself into a beginner that doesn't even know how to deal with the good editor, for instance, or let's say a Visual Studio editor or the Inkscape editor. I don't understand how can I not know what I already know. So instead, I just share the knowledge that I'm currently learning. So the process that I'm currently going through. And this, this is a little bit strange for most of my audience because from time to time, I receive requests about teach us how to do this beginner friendly topic. And I'm like, how can you not know about that? And I understand this is very arrogant from my, my, my side, but I want to show you how you can do that because Robert Henning just did the most amazing beginner-friendly learning resource that I've ever read. And I'm learning a lot about how to teach people with Robert. So let's talk about the Good Old 4 for Beginners book, because this is amazing. I will recommend for everyone that is asking me for beginner-friendly content to read this book instead. I'll put the link in the description so you can acquire it, but let's talk about it. First of all, let's understand who is the person behind this book, so Robert Henning, because this is going to be important to understand what is Robert's background, so his experience, his knowledge baggage, so on and so forth, because this will help us understand why he wrote the things that he wrote in the way that he wrote. So Robert is a 20 years, so Robert has 20 years of experience teaching computing science to people, so he is already a teacher for for a long time and he is a passionate good advocate so he really engaged into the good community sharing projects showing how people are working with good engine he has a blog and a youtube channel so follow uh robert henning youtube channel he channel is known as game dev journey the same name as his blog and in this distribution channel so his blog and his YouTube channel, he shares Good Engine projects mostly. I know that Robert also shares some other uh, projects, but is mainly focused on Good Engine. Understanding that, we know that well, Robert has a computing science background, so the book is going to be heavily filled with computing science uh, knowledge. And this is important because computing science is the basics of programming and development in general. So this book is going to also teach you how to program. I think that on the very first uh, chapters, he teaches things like vectors and how computing computers work so that we understand how the tool that we are dealing with is going to process the information that we are putting inside of it to provide the outcome that we expect from it. Now, let's talk about the book itself. It's a great starter book. Robert took the time to teach the fundamentals of game development with Grut Engine. So how you can navigate the Grut Editor, what are the features that the Grut Editor offers, and how you can program with GDScript, understanding the fundamentals of programming itself. So 
what are variables, what are methods, classes, objects, so on and so forth. And this helps us understand what are the coding, the development philosophy of Grot Engine, because some other engines take other approaches to game development, but Robert teaches how Grot Engine works and teaches the philosophy of composition, object-oriented programming, and so on and so forth. But he doesn't stop there, because after giving the very basics of how you can code stuff in Grot Engine, Robert also takes the time to teach you the fundamental aspects of game development in general, so vector math, physics, and other topics. And this will give you, this will equip you with the knowledge that you need to solve very common problems, like how you can calculate the distance from one object to the other, the direction from one object to the other, using vector math and other math stuff. So it's a hands-on approach on how to start in game development. After teaching the basics of how games work, Robert takes the next step by teaching the students, the readers, how to create a 2D platformers with advanced features like handling animations, animation transitions, double jump or jump, and even teaching how to make stompable enemies. So it's a really great approach to teaching how to create a 2D platformer game. But he doesn't stop there. He also teaches how to create 3D games as well, going to the point of making a camera controller, which is always a pain point for anyone trying to create a three-dimensional game because cameras are really hard to deal with when we talk about games. But to be honest, my highlight for this book is the 11th chapter, Understanding Game Design, because Robert teaches some core concepts about game design itself, even providing some tips and tricks to create great game design. But the most important thing presented in this chapter specifically is how to write a game design document. A game design document is one of the most fundamental documents that you have to write if you want to engage into the game development industry. A game design document is so important that here in this co-working, I got selected to go through an incubation program, but everyone that wants to be in this co-working has to present a game design document and be approved by the host of this game development hub. And so the very minimum that you need to engage into this process to get inside this co-working here is to present a game design document and be approved by the board. So knowing how to write a game design document will allow you to get into places that people that don't know how to write them will never be able to go. After that, Robert finishes the book by presenting some next steps for his readers, teach them how they can create a portfolio and what some companies expect from some core role, so how you can create a portfolio as a game designer or how you can create a portfolio as a programmer or an artist. And this will help people really engage into the career of game development. So this is not just a book for good beginners, but it's also a book for anyone wanting to start with game development. Well, Robert is going to use Grot Engine as the main production tool, but it's a great book for anyone, really, anyone that wants to get into game development and start making a living out of it, be it by working on someone else's company, like creating portfolios to get hired, or to create your own indie game studio. So I highly recommend you to buy this book. And this is the book that I'm going to recommend for everyone that's asking for beginner-friendly content, because as I said, I don't remember how did I know what I know currently. So I'm going to recommend you to read this book. So the link is going to be in the description. Go there, it's distributed through Amazon, both on a physical copy and digital copy as well. Go check it out. But for this video, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Keep developing and until the next one, see you there.